Here we have a very nice looking 2010 Mini Cooper John Cooper Works Convertible in the pepper white with the matte black uh, finish to it with the strips and the side decals there. It's a very nice looking car and it's got plenty of features as well which I'll show you later on in the video. We start the offside front tyre. You're looking around at the most 3mm of tread there so not a great deal amount and there is quite a bit of wear in here to the outer edge of the tyre. Looking at the offside front alloy it does appear to be in very nice condition. Uh, you do get the nice John Cooper Works Challenge alloys with the vehicle and there's no signs of any curbing at all to the alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle it is very hard to spot with the colour and how bright it is today uh, but taking a good look can't see any signs of any dinks, dents or any damage at all to the offside of the car. You can see these very nice matte black sort of finish uh, side decals here complement the car very well. Looking at the mirror caps, a couple of stone chips dotted around here and there. Looking at the driver's door now, we can see we have got quite a good scratch here. Um, very small, as you can see, but it is quite deep. I can get my eye into that. So you should be aware of those little scratches there. A couple of light scratches to the bottom of the door sill here. Again, should polish out no problem. But as you can see, very light scratch there as well. Again, that shouldn't be a problem with a, with a bit of a mop. Looking around the driver's door, you've got a couple of scratches in the in inside of the handle there, which is to be expected really of a used vehicle. Um, but as you can see, you get the nice lock feature on the car there as well. Looking down the door edge, you've got a couple of very light uh, chips to the driver's door edge. Again, those shouldn't be uh, too hard to get out. And again, just a couple of light age related marks around the door. Moving around to the uh, rear quarter, again, a couple of light scratches, but overall it is in very nice condition. Looking at the offside rear tyre, you're looking at around 4 to 5 mil there. And then taking a look at the offside rear alloy. Again, great condition. No signs of any curbing at all. There we go. Moving around to the rear of the car. As you can see, it is a very nice looking vehicle. And taking a look at the back here. Again, nice condition, no signs of any major damage at all, no dinks or dents. Everything seems to be intact with the bumpers, etc. Uh, a bit of the uh, stripes there coming off, so be aware of that. That might need replacing. Uh, you've got slight indentation in the rear bump here. Uh, it is a bit of a scuff, but like I said, it does slightly indent into the bumper towards the bottom, slightly dented in there, so just be aware of that. And a couple of light scratches as well, you can see to the near side rear quarter. You've got one there. A couple around the back here. You can see just light ones dotted around here and there. Um, again, shouldn't be a problem polishing those out. But uh, you've got your rear parking sensors there as well. But no problems at all with the rear of the vehicle. Moving on to the near side, if you have the near side rear tyre. And you're looking at around 4mm of tread there. Taking the near side rear alloy, you've got a very slight scuff to the one side there, as you can see. But uh, apart from that, doesn't appear to be any signs of any of the curbs at all. And again, it is in very nice condition. And then looking down the near side of the car, again, very hard to spot anything, but I am taking a good look. No signs of any dinks, dents, and especially no signs of any damage at all. A couple of few age related marks towards the near side rear quarter. Look at uh, the front passenger door here, no signs of any car park chips at all on the edge. And we'll take a quick look at the roof, of course, it is a convertible, so the roof has got to be in nice condition, and there doesn't appear to be any signs of any damage at all. No rips or tears, so it does appear to be in good order with the roof. Mirror cap's in nice condition with just a couple of light stone chips and the side decal there is in nice condition as well. Moving around to the near side front, again not a lot of tread, you've got around 25 to 3 mil, uh, so it should be quite close to changing, especially with this wear in here to the outer edge. Looking at the near side front alloy, again nice condition to be honest with no signs of any curbing at all, so that's great. And moving around to the front of the car, Again, you can see here the strip has started to peel off, so that might need replacing. And apart from that, you've got a few stone chips to the bonnet of the car, very minor indeed, uh, just require some touchings of paint. But there doesn't appear to be any signs of any damage at all to the bumpers, 
slight scuff down here. I don't know if that uh, doesn't seem to come off with a nail. Um, so I don't know if that's uh, a mark to the plastics. So just be aware of that there. But apart from that, again, just a couple of stone chips to the front bumpers and no signs of any damage. There we go, if we take a look inside the vehicle. Looking at the driver's seat, you can see it's in really nice condition. No signs of any wearing at all to the front seat. You can see here a slight bit of wearing to the inner holster of the seat there. But no signs of any damage at all, no rips or tears. And if we take a quick look in the back of the seat. So as you can see with the rear seats, they're absolutely spotless to be fair. No signs of any damage, the leather looks really clean and tidy. Looks very well for its age. But real nice condition in the back. And if we take a quick look at the, uh, the front passenger seat. Again, you can see great condition with no signs of any damage there. And the rest of the interior looks very well as well. You can see the, uh, the sat nav and everything in there. The Alcantara steering wheel. But nice condition overall. Uh, you've got a few scratches and marks to the, uh, the side here next to the door. Um, most of this is a bit of dirt to be honest. That's just dried, but uh, this all along here you can see is uh, some scuffs and scratches, so just be aware of those as well. If we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage and things. So you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, which is great. And if we just get the car started up, so you can see no problem starting the vehicle at all. Starts first time. 27,889 miles on the clock, so very low miles to be fair. And of course, being a John Q Perks, it does sound great as well. The multifunction steering wheel here works perfectly fine. And you've got the nice Alcantara finish as well to the steering wheel. Uh, just be aware that it's slightly worn as well. So Alcantara is slightly worn there on the steering wheel. But looking at the system here, you can see uh, you've got your navigation and things, entertainment, all functions very well. As you can see there, no problems at all functioning that. Any standard mini layout here with your CD and your radio. If we just get that started up. So you no problems with the sound at all. Also comes with the uh, Harman Kardon sound system as you can see. So that is one of many of the features on the vehicle. Minor transmission, you can see you've got your aircon here as well. And no problems functioning that at all. And no problems with any of the blowers. They're all functioning very well. Now if I just go through the documents with you. Looking at the V5, the car's had two owners. Uh, this is a copy as the plate is on retention. Uh, it does come with an MOT certificate, let me just get you that. Looking at the MOT, May 2nd 2014. So not until next year. And look at the service history, it doesn't have a service book but we have got printouts of the services here. Uh, your first one here at 14 and your second at 18 there. But as you can see these are both mini services so it is a full franchise service history. And if we just go through these options uh, now just a quick glance just to show you everything the car's got on. You can see it's all printed off. Pepper White Leather Lounge. Uh, just feel free to pause this at any time to have a better look. So I'll give you a chance to pause it and take a look. As you can see, plenty of features, got pages and pages. And if we just flick that over, believe it or not, there is another page of options on the vehicle. You can see there's telephone, Harman Kardon Hi-Fi and the Chili Pack. So plenty of features on the vehicle. But there we go, it's the 2010 John Cooper that's convertible. And for a car of stage, it's in beautiful condition. It'll be a very nice car uh, for the collection. Just to show you that the roof does function well, you've got your button here. You see the first stage there sliding back. Very smooth. Hold it down again, windows fold down. As you can see there, very fluent. No problems at all. And all the windows there closing just for the last phase. But as you can see there's no problems with the roof at all so that's great as well. There we go that is the John Cooper Works Mini Convertible.